Hey, 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 Moni is coming back to you guys with another video. And today I'm making blackened salmon with sauteed shrimp and a creamy butter sauce with some mashed potatoes and some asparagus. And um, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. It is a weekday and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So first I have some asparagus that I'm going to bake and I'm just going to drizzle some um, extra virgin olive oil and season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. And once you add your seasonings, you just want to mix everything around so all of the flavors and the seasonings can be distributed equally. And once you do that, you want to place it into your oven on 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Okay, so let's talk about this salmon. I went ahead and took the skin off the salmon and cleaned it and now I'm just adding a generous amount of salt, pepper, and Old base seasoning. And then flip it over and add the same amount on the back side. So now I just took about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, put it in my pan on a medium high heat, and I put my salmon down carefully into that pan, and I'm just gonna let that thing sizzle for about four to five minutes. Um, you can check your salmon periodically to see if it's turning black. And if it is turning black, you want to flip that bad boy. Um, you can also see how, you know, you, has, you can see like the white part halfway up. That's how you know it's time to flip it. And once you flip it, it should look something like that. Nice and black. All that seasoning shining right through. Five minutes later, you want to add about a tablespoon of butter into that pan. And you want to just let that butter um you know melt and coat around the salmon and here i'm just adding about a teaspoon of lemon juice into the pan and once it's done you can place that salmon to the side and now we are ready for our shrimp so i'm just taking that same old bay salt and pepper seasoning and you just want to sprinkle a little bit on each side of the shrimp and in that same pan that you cook that salmon in you want to place the um, shrimp in on a medium high heat just for about 30 seconds we're not cooking these shrimps all the way through we're going to put them into the sauce later to let them finish cooking so once you put them all in go ahead and start to flip them and you see i just want to get that sear i want to sear those sit that those flavors into that shrimp i don't really want to cook it all the way through we're just searing the flavors in then you can remove it from the heat and place it to the side until we're ready to put them in the sauce Okay, so let's get started on our sauce. In the same pan that you cook the shrimp and the fish in, you want to place four tablespoons of butter in. Once that butter starts melting, you want to either place some finely diced onions or some shallots into your butter. And just let that marinate for about two to three minutes. And then you want to come back and add your white wine. You can use whatever white wine you choose. I am using Santa Hans Moscato. They come for four for five dollars. You want to put one whole personal one in your pan and then drink the other three. Okay, so it has now been about four to five minutes and now I am just slowly um, pouring in some heavy whipping cream. You just want to slowly pour that in. I think in total I poured in about a one third cup of heavy whipping cream and um, you just want to let that simmer of course until all the flavors marinate and about two to three minutes later I added those you know, semi-cooked shrimp that we placed to the side. Yep you want to add those in there with some a little bit of salt and pepper and you just want to let that cook. Now my sauce was a little too thin for my liking. So I just took some heavy whipping cream with a little bit of cornstarch mixed that together. And then I added that to my sauce to thicken it up. So anytime you want to thicken it, add some more um, cornstarch and some heavy whipping cream. Um, but if you don't want it thick like that, you can leave it just like that and it's fine. I just wanted mine a little bit like a gravy and it looked like this after about four to five minutes and now i'm just adding some freshly chopped parsley and we can just set this aside and now we are about to make some potatoes no these potatoes are not from scratch i didn't have time to do that so guess what i'm using box potatoes and i am using the betty crocker version first you want to boil some hot water and then add three tablespoons of butter and then add your potatoes in there and then add in some heavy whipping cream i add about one third cup Oh, mind you, I'm not following the box instructions. And uh, once you mix that around, I like to add 
um the cream cheese the onion and chives kind it makes it taste like a baked potato without the skin Woo! it is so good so go ahead and add about one third of um onion and chives cream cheese and mix that all together then if you really want to be fancy throw in some salt and pepper I'm just joking. You just, you really need the um, salt and pepper. So throw that in there. And then once you throw that in there, you can um, whisk it all together until it's nice, creamy, and smooth. And then we are going to be ready for presentation time because we all know. What do we all know? Presentation is key. Hallelujah. Okay, so first things first, we want to add about two scoops of potatoes to the center of our square plate. I got these plates from Walmart on a good deal. Now you just want to place four to five pieces of asparagus on top of those nicely smooth potatoes. Then once you place your asparagus down, you want to place that wonderfully cooked salmon on top of the asparagus. Now this is the best part. You want to add that creamy sauce with those sauteed shrimp on top of that salmon. And you wanna give a generous amount of sauce. Don't be stingy with the sauce now. And then, you... ma'am, ma'am, who created this reverse app? I need to see that again. Okay, so I'm adding my shrimp and my sauce. And if you really wanna be fancy, sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. And you wanna make sure that sauce, you put enough sauce that is reaching those potatoes so that potatoes can absorb some of those flavors. And that's pretty much it. Blackened salmon with sauteed shrimp with mashed potatoes and asparagus on a weekday. Do y'all hear me on a weekday? Enough said. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys at the next video.